Okay, so we just watched our Cram Jams video about theme. And so we want to be thinking about the theme of two bear cups. And so we want to be thinking about how the theme is different than the topic of the story. That's what we want to be thinking about. Now we've already read the story. We've read the story before. So we're going to be kind of skipping to the end of the story. Yes, Logan, you have a question? Can you wait until we're done? No? Well, then you better hurry back. So what I want you to do is I want you to reread pages 355 and 356. So let's go to pages 355 and 356. That's what we're going to read right now. So let's go to pages 355 and 356. That's near the very end of the story. Okay. Go to 355 and 356. Everybody on page 355. 355. I want everybody on page 355. Teddy, are you on 355? Okay, let's all go to 355. Older brother, puffing out his chest and beating it with his paw. We are grizzlies. We are brave. Younger brother, doing the same. We will follow you. They pantomime following a safe path in single file, with measuring worm leading, older brother following, and younger brother behind. Below, Fox suddenly spots something, stands up, and peers more closely. Fox, excitedly, pointing to a spot about halfway up the mountain. Mother Grizzly, look! Measuring worm is guiding your cubs down the mountain. All animals look where fox is pointing. Mother grizzly, joyful, fearful. Be careful, my children. Mother deer, reassuring her friend. Trust measuring worm. He has brought them safely this far. He will not fail you now. The animals continue to watch. They slowly lower their gaze to follow the climbers as they come down the mountain. At last, the cubs and measuring worm make a final leap from the mountain to the ground. The cubs run to their mother. Mother Grizzly gives them a big hug. Then she pushes them away and shakes her finger at them. Reassuring. If you are reassuring a friend, you are trying to keep him from worrying about something. Mother Grizzly, scolding. Both of you have been very naughty. Look at the trouble and worry you have caused us all. You did not listen to me and went where you were not supposed to go. Older brother, hanging head. I am sorry, I won't do it again. Younger brother, starting to cry. <laughs> I will never disobey you again. Mother Grizzly, gathering them up in her arms again. Be sure that you remember what happened today, but do not cry, little ones. It has all ended well, thanks to the help and courage of Measuring Worm. The animals gather around Measuring Worm and congratulate him. Storyteller enters stage left. Then all the animals decided to call the new mountain Tutakanula, which means measuring worm stone. This was to honor the heroic worm who did what no other creature could do. He saved the two bear cubs. The mountain held this name for many years until newcomers named the mountain El Capitan. We Miwok still call the mountain Tutakanula to this day. The end. Okay, so now boys and girls, here's what I want you to think about. I want you to think about 
What theme or lesson about life does the play give to the readers? Now remember, that's what a theme is. It's what lesson do the characters learn in this story, in this drama, in this play? What do you think? What lesson do they learn? Jensen. They learn the couple to obey. Okay, to obey. Notice things. What else? What do you think? Alex? To not disobey. To not to disobey, to listen to their elders. What do you think? Listen to your mother and um, be more careful when your mother tells you not to go down the river and be careful with her. To listen to your mother. Yes. Be aware of your surroundings. To be aware of your surroundings. Yes. Not to underestimate younger people. Not to underestimate younger people, right? You don't have to be big to help. That's a good one. So here are a few things that we could write down. So you can have your choice of things to, I like two of those that we came up with. So for number one, we can write either listen to your elders or your parents, listen to your parents. Or, um, what was our other one? Our other one was, you don't have to be big to help. Those are both very good themes from our story. Because remember, in our video, in our Cram Jams video, it said there can be more than one theme in a story. So you could take away more than one theme, one thing in a story. Very good. I like those. Okay. Very good. Now, Here's another important thing that we have to know. We have to know, how is the theme, or how is this different from the topic of the play? How is it different from the topic of the play? How is this theme different from the topic of the play? What is the topic of this play? Yanni, what's the topic of the play? Topic of the play. What's the topic of the play? Avery? Well, that might be the theme of our play. What's the topic of the play? Anastasia? Yes, the two bear cubs go and they get lost and have to be saved. That would be the topic of our play. So that would be our topic. So that's the topic. So let's write that. The topic is two bear cubs. need to be rescued. Okay, now we have to think about 
The theme, and what is the theme, boys and girls? The theme is what? Overall, the theme is the... Somebody other than Anastasia. Yes. The theme is the lesson learned. Yes, the theme is the lesson learned. Is the lesson learned. By the readers. So that is what happens here is we learn something by listening to the play, by reading the play. So now, boys and girls, now we're going to compare this play to Gigi and the Wishing Ring. So how is the lesson the Cubs learned similar to the one that Gigi learns in Gigi and the Wishing Ring? How are these similar? Mikey, how are they similar? They are similar by they both learn a lesson. Okay, yes, they both learn a lesson. Thomas? Oh, the mouse helped. Okay, yes, yes. Yes, yeah, to listen to your parents. That's a good one. Because the mother told him, the mother gave him advice. Yes. From the, from the older woman. Yes, yes. Mikey. They both had that. So let's go with they both. They both got in trouble. Well, because they both got in trouble when they didn't listen to their parents. So let's go or when they both didn't listen to an older adult. So they both got into trouble. So they didn't listen to an older adult, so they both got in trouble. So let's finish writing that. And then we can put a star on it and we can put it in our home folder.